Love Island's Danny and Jack have blazing row after lie detector challenge Danny Dyer and Jack Fincham had a meltdown after the salesman was deemed to have lied in response to questions about his fidelity in the lie detector challenge. Tuesday, July 24, 2018 After the public vote, Stephanie Lam and Josh Mayer are voted out of the villa on Love Island. Broadcast on ITV2, supplied by WEN, in Monday night's episode, show bosses put all the couples through the explosive challenge in which each of the male contestants had to answer questions about their other halves. And Danny was left raging after Jack's response to whether he could ever be tempted by another woman was deemed a lie. While Jack was found to be telling the truth when he answered questions asking if he was in love with Danny, the actress was on tenterhooks when her beau was asked, could you be tempted by other girls outside of the villa don't you dare, she hissed as she watched Alexandra asking Jack the question on the screen from outside the task room. While the stationery salesman insisted that he would NT be tempted by someone else, the result came up as false, leaving Danny distraught. Later on in the episode, Danny confronted Jack over some of the results of his answers, and the pair argued, with Jack accusing Danny of focusing only on the negative outcomes of his results. Why are you letting it get to you? Jack said. Tempted is not the same as actually doing it. It's like getting upset because it might rain tomorrow, there's no point until it actually happens. And it's annoying me that you're in now talking about all the negative questions. To which Danny responded, any girl in the world if they've got that question and their boyfriend got it wrong they would be upset. Jack became increasingly defensive, failing to reassure his girlfriend, who then stormed off, with him branding her pathetic. Later in the beach hut, a tearful Danny said, I've been cheated on, I've been lied to. I've had it all. It doesn't bring a nice side out in me. Loyalty, it means so much to me.